Hello, this is Uper Cyclist, and I'd like to go over my pannier setup that I use when I'm touring and the bags that I use. And the setup that I use are VOD panniers. Now, I know that there's two brands of panniers that are real common out there, the Ortlieb and the Arkel, and they're very fine panniers, no doubt about it. Um, but I decided to go with a VOD, and the reason I did that was honestly, um, I looked at the specifications between the VOD panniers and the Ortlieb, and really there's not a lot of difference. Uh, the main difference was the price. You can get your setup uh, with uh, the VOD panniers for probably 100 to 150 dollars less than, than the Arkel or, or uh, Ortlieb panniers. Um, so I won't argue you know which one's better um, I'm just gonna go over my setup and show you uh, how I roll down the road when I'm touring so we'll start with the rear pannier I use the uh, Roadmaster um, version of the rear for the rear pannier and it is not a waterproof pannier it does come with rain covers this is what it looks like mounted on the rack and it mounts the same same way as the Ortlieb uh, panniers do from what I can see and I'll grab an empty one here or partially empty one and show you the back so it snaps on your your rack just like that and then when you want to release it pull the handle release it you got the hook down at the bottom keep it in place very similar to the Ortlieb you can adjust these however you need to they come with uh, different rubber inserts to um, so it fits on different diameter uh, racks and so you'd be set if you had a different uh, style of rack you needed a little tighter a little looser you just uh, change these inserts to make it work for your rack go over some of the features of the pack itself. We'll start with the inside. The main compartment, you access that, open up your drawstring opening there, and then you have quite a large opening in there. And you have also inside there you have a large zip pocket for storing items. Okay, so the overall volume of this pannier is uh, 50 liters, and uh, for me that's that's adequate. Um, 100 liters on the back. I generally uh, I don't put my tent in my pannier. I typically strap my tent to the top of the rack. And I do put my poles in in the uh, pannier, however. However, with my tent, I have one pole, the brow pole for the fly. It's a little too long. That's really no big deal. I just uh, strap it right on the back with my tent. I think that's pretty common for a lot of tents. The poles are an issue sometimes for most panniers. So it has a 50 liter capacity. The, thing, the reason I like this type of pannier over the uh, roll top waterproof ones is I I like to compart I like the compartments I like to organize things and that's just just my preference so like I mentioned you have the large inside pocket for putting you can put flat items in there um, and you have this pocket on the outside for putting items in there you've got the dividers in there I've got some some cord in there some line and in bike tubes right now and then on your top lid you've got a pretty decent sized pocket there too so you can stuff quite a few things in there as well as I mentioned it is not waterproof but it comes with a, a rain cover so anytime you got rain issue you just Put on your rain cover 
and it's a tight fit and that's really um, so it can be difficult to get on but uh, you want a tight fit you want that rain rain cover to, to fit nice and snug so you don't get any leakage so they come with come with their uh, rain covers and they just there's a snap in here actually it hooks to but um, trust me it's in there so that's the rear pannier they run about uh, online price right now it's in ranging right around a hundred and fifty dollar um, mark US dollars that is and like I said, you know, if, if you're looking to save a little money, the uh, Ortley pannier is going to run you probably a hundred dollars more um, on average. And uh, again, I'm not arguing the merits of, you know, the Ortley panniers. I know they're good panniers, but uh, if you're looking to save a little money, these are very good panniers and a good option to use. Okay, now I'll go over the uh, front pannier that I front panniers that I use, and uh, this brand, another vlog, again is uh, the Discover Two, I believe it is, or the Discover. I'm not really sure. Depends on what year uh, you buy them. I guess they switched them to a two. Um, and from what I understand, that this pannier has been discontinued, and that's really a shame because I. I feel that it's a very good pannier. If you're looking for some front panniers, add a little extra storage capacity um, for your tour. These are an excellent uh, size to have. They're 30 liter capacity. These are waterproof panniers. They're not the roll top though. Let me demonstrate uh, again how these work. Let me get these open. Again, they have the lid, drawstring opening for the main compartment, just like the rear panniers. Very, very, you know, adequate room in there. Again, they have the inside zip pocket, just like uh, the rear panniers. And again, on the lid, they have a little extra storage up here too. A little zip pocket in the front. And everything is sealed on the zipper. See the rubber coating there, so you're not getting any leakage there. I've ridden in all day rains before and I haven't had anything get wet in these panniers. So if, if you um, really have some, some items that you're carrying and you really don't want them to get wet or damaged from water, uh, this gives you a little extra um, insurance to throw your things in front panniers just like the rear panniers they they attach the same way have the same system as the rear pannier again snaps down on the rack when you pull the handle up to release they got the hook down at the bottom adjustable I'm using a tubus tear off front rack and it just fits like it was meant to be. Perfect fit. This pannier is a 30 liter capacity and it runs around a hundred dollars. US dollars is what it um, used to cost because um, you can still find them online. Um, but they're they are discontinued they're not making them anymore which is a shame because it is a very high quality pannier in my opinion okay the uh, handlebar bag that i use is the vod again it's the road 2 handlebar bag and it has an 8 liter capacity and let's just go over the features of this handlebar bag this is a really nice handlebar bag in my opinion it has a front pocket for storing extra items divider pockets in here for organizing again as I mentioned I'm I'm the type of person that likes to organize 
my thing. So um, panniers and bags that have pockets and organizing um, pockets inside even is what I prefer. It has a clear map case on the top. You can throw your paper maps in there and you don't have to worry about them getting wet if you want to fold your map so you can actually see the map as you're riding. Some people, I'm old school and I still use paper maps so I always have my uh, route for the day showing through. <clears throat> Open the top lid here, get some things out of the way. It's pretty roomy inside, has an integrated uh, rain cover just like the uh, rear pannier, it, it's a nice tight fit, snug fit, and I haven't had any issues with it getting wet uh, inside at all with the rain cover on. Inside it has another zip pocket. It has also an extra top pocket here on the lid. This is nice for putting small items in like your... Uh, I, I usually throw things like a camera in there, um, small items, three three divider pockets in there. Anything that's not too bulky and it's not gonna take up a lot of room. Okay, it hooks on uh, similar to many of the handlebar bags you see out there you just snap it on there like that and it's very sturdy. A little pet peeve that I have uh, with handlebar bags I see a lot of people don't take the time to uh, when they mount their connection system they don't take the time to uh, make sure that's level or horizontal. Um, you don't want your handlebar bag down here on your cables resting on those and bouncing on on that all day it doesn't move a whole lot but there is going to be some vibration so it's important in my opinion to get that nice and level on your handlebar i don't think you'd want it sticking up you know especially if you're running a light or anything you don't want it sticking up too high but you want it level you don't want it uh, hanging down and hitting your cables so take a little time to make sure that your connection is uh, set right. It's good and solid and when you're um, ready to take it off it's just push the red button and it's off just like that. Um, all three of these, all, all both panniers in the uh, handlebar bag, they all come with with carrying straps so if you're traveling with your panniers and you need to carry those with um, straps it's very easy to do there's a place to snap onto panniers with your strap on the handlebar bag it has a little loop on each side and you just snap to that and I use this quite a bit because uh, I keep my valuables my credit card money and things like that cameras in my handlebar bag so when I stop and go into a store or any place that I don't want to leave my valuables unattended, I will take and put my strap on and, and just head in the store or wherever with that on my shoulder. So that's the uh, VOD Road 2 handlebar bag and it runs around uh, online. I found it for around 50 to $60 and I think that's a real good deal for a large handlebar bag. Um, with uh, such good quality and uh, yeah so that's my setup that I use when I when I tour and um, you know I, I I know there's many different types of panniers and handlebar bags out on the market today um, and like I said in the beginning I see commonly there's two types that people go to but if you're looking to save a little bit of money and have quality that I, I feel that's just as good, then you might want to think about trying the VOD panniers. If you have any comments or questions, I'd 
be glad to hear from you. Just leave a comment down below. If you like this review, uh, leave a like. Thanks for watching.